What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my pizza channel and as promised, here's part two of how I made the dough for my pizza using the Tony Gemiani type double zero flour. Pretty simple recipe. This one again uses a Polish starter. So um, it's just a small amount and it's left at room temp for 18 hours versus what I normally do, which is put it in the fridge for uh, you know 24 to 16 hours. So it's a little different a smaller amount of the polish that we're, that we're going to be using but pretty simple you need about 0.12 grams of yeast uh, this recipe that i did find online um, where there's lots of these recipes for this specific dough um, it calls for again 0.12 grams or one third or one eighth teaspoon of active dry yeast. I have an instant dry yeast, which is also you know totally fine. So what basically you want to do is you want to put the yeast into 47 grams of cold water. Then you have your 47 grams of your flour again, the Tony Gemiani flour. So let's go ahead and put this in the in the water. And it says to activate it for mixing it. So that's what we're going to basically do. We have our whisk here and we're just going to go ahead and activate it or mix it around for about 30 seconds. So let's do that. And so like I said, you just want to kind of get this mixed around for about 30 seconds. And just get this dissolved. All right, so now that that's mixed, then again, now what you want to do is you want to get your flour. So again, it's 47 grams of the type double zero flour. Again, the Tony Gemiani flour, you could get this, uh, I believe through like Central Million, but I got this specifically through the Uni Grocery website. So I want to interrupt the video to show you how easy it is to order groceries through the Uni website. Again, uni.com, and you want to search for the tab that it says groceries. There you'll be able to see different options of flowers that they offer. Um, you got yeast, you also have some of the Bianco de Napoli tomatoes, which I highly recommend. There's also different brands there, and you got some hot honey, and of course you got the flower, the Tony Gemiani flower that I used. Um, and again, super quick and easy, basically add to cart, pay, put your shipping information, and again, directly to you. So. Take it out, take a look at their website, www.uni.com. Enjoy the rest of the video and like and subscribe. So again, it's you know awesome that they offer this. Um, so definitely check that out. And now again, just want to mix it just like any uh, Polish recipe, and just kind of get this mixed around. And again, it's going to be like a pancake uh, type of batter. So um, it's not going to be runny, but it is going to be uh, pretty thick. And it smells good already. So let's just go ahead. And again, there's different variations of uh, dough recipes that you can use uh, with this flour. Again, specifically, I found this one uh, with the Polish starter. So um, again, something I'm really familiar with using. And just kind of get that mixed in. And that's pretty good there. So I'm just gonna use a spoon, just kind of get everything in, in here and don't wanna waste anything. And I'm just going to go ahead and get that. All right. And now at this point, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get it covered. And then we're going to let it sit at room temp for 18 hours, um, which is what's recommended. All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. It's now been 18 hours, as you can see. Here is our 
uh, Polish, looks like it has doubled, and now I put it in the fridge about 30 minutes prior to using it to kind of cool it down, because again, it has been sitting at room temp for about 18 hours. So I have all my ingredients weighed out. First thing that we're gonna do, I have my water here. This is about 70 grams of warm water. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some yeast in here. And again, this is about 2.2 grams of yeast. I'm gonna go ahead and again mix this for about 30 seconds. And again, we're just kind of dissolving it. All right, so once we have the yeast melted down, that's good there. Then we're gonna go ahead now, and again, I have my flour here. This is a Tony Gemiani type double zero flour. We have 453 grams of this flour, so we're gonna go ahead and let's get this on. I'm gonna get all this into the bowl here. Place that aside. Get her hook, and again, you could use a small mixer, a big mixer, you could do this by hand. Again, it is up to you. Um, it does ask for malt, which I don't have. The flour already has malt, but what I did is I'm gonna go ahead and just substitute just a little bit of honey in there. Um, this is just gonna kinda help it out, so. Let's just go ahead and get that in there. And we're just gonna get that off. And it's not a lot of honey, but you know, if you know, kind of just helps out with the fermentation. Also, maybe gives it a little bit of flavor too. So, I think we're good there. So, what it says now is we go ahead and we're going to close it. I'm just going to mix it down for about, you know, just a little bit, not too, too much. So, while that's mixing, again, I will post the link to this recipe. Um, this is again the Tony Gemiani uh, recipe. So again, it's here. So then what we're gonna do now, we got the flour, the malt in the bowl. We got that mixed for a little bit. While it's mixing for a low speed, then we're gonna go ahead and mix, put in our water. This is again about 210 grams of water, um, ice water. So we're gonna go ahead and just pour this in here. And we're not gonna pour all this water in there because now what you want to do is we're going to go ahead now and pour the rest of the mixture of the yeast mixture in here. And now you just want to kind of get the rest of that water in your bowl. Kind of get this mixed around, make sure that we got all our yeast. And then we're going to go ahead and pour the rest of that water into there. We're going to let that mix down just for a little bit while that's mixing down. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just let it mix for like about, I don't know, about 30, 30 seconds or so. And then we're gonna get our, our polish in here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Nice and bubbly. Smells really good. So we'll give that maybe just another couple seconds. All right, so now that that's mixed, we're gonna go ahead and shut this off. We're gonna go ahead and open Pick this up, kind of get everything scraped down here. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna get our polish in here. So let's just get that. Again, you can use a spatula. And this is about 90 grams is what it makes. So let's just go ahead. And just get that in there. And yeah, you could really smell that. So that's the best thing about this is that, you know, it's gonna give a good you know, smell, aroma. So I'm gonna get this in, close that off. And we're gonna go ahead and let that mix now for about 30 seconds to about a minute. So let's get that off. And once that does come together, like I said, it's about a minute. We're gonna stop it, then we're gonna go ahead and pull all the dough up. Um, kind of just get and make sure that we get everything down from the bottom and that way it all gets incorporated nicely. Okay. 
So now that that's been pretty much mixing, it's not fully come together, but we'll give it maybe like another 30 seconds or so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this cut off. We're gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna get everything kind of pulled off. And just making sure that we get everything scraped down. All right. And now let's just get some of this down here. Like I said, you just wanna get everything kind of pulled together. We're gonna go ahead and get this closed off. And then we're gonna go ahead now and we get the salt added in there. And then it's asked for about five grams or so of um, oil. So we're just gonna go ahead and just now put a little bit in here. It's about a tablespoon or so, so. That's about good there. And now we're just gonna let this go for just a little bit longer. Let everything kind of get together. While we're doing that, clean up your mess or move your mess around because again, now you are going to mix a little bit of it together or hand knead it. And so you want to do that for about two minutes until again, it's all fully incorporated. So we'll give it another minute and it's not going to be fully smooth or anything like that. That's where again the hand kneading is going to come to play. Um, but we're just kind of pulling it together and mixing a little bit. And again, none of this is at a high speed. Again, this has all been at a low speed. All right, so the bowl looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and get that cut off. We're gonna get this pulled up. And it's not super tacky or anything like that, which is nice. So let's go ahead and get this pulled off and get that to your work surface. And so now at this point, you're basically just gonna hand knead it for about two to three minutes until it looks a little bit more smoother. Um, and there's no chunky pieces or hard pieces in here. So. Let's give it about two, you know, three minutes of hand kneading. So I'll go ahead and get this sped up and then we'll be back in about three minutes. All right, so it's been about three minutes of hand kneading. As you can see, the dough is a lot smoother, but now at this point, basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get this covered with the bowl here, and I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes of resting at room temperature, and then we'll be back. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes now. Here's the dough. Now at this point, you wanna go ahead and have some containers, whatever you have. I have, happen to have this little round one. We're gonna kinda oil it up a little bit, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and 
divide this into dough balls. Uh, the recipe specifically says uh, 13 ounces. Um, so you could do smaller, you could do, you know, whatever you feel is up to you. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do about 13 inches. Um, so give me one second and get that creased up so that way it comes out. And if you have your dough cutter, you have your scale, then you want to go ahead and just kind of split this down the middle. And let's see. So right now it's about 14 ounces, which is also 401 grams. So again, if you have a scale, this is, you know, perfect for, you know, doing this. But let's go ahead and just do 13 ounces. So we're looking at about 12.7. And let's see. It was about 13.2, which is fine. So we'll go ahead now and you just want to get it balled up. Put the other part there. And though it is pretty tough, which is fine. Again, you know, it's gonna go ahead and open up or you know, double the size and kind of relax more in the fridge. And again, we're gonna be putting this in the fridge for about 20, you know, about 48 hours. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and we're just gonna get this greased up a little bit. You get that, and then you want to go ahead and just get this covered up, put in the fridge 48 hours, 36 hours. Again, it's a long fermentation dough, so you know the flavor is going to taste a lot better at 48 hours. But again, you could definitely do this at 32. So go ahead, we'll follow up in 48 hours, we'll take a look at the dough. All right, as you can see, the dough has doubled in size, it's now been 48 hours. The dough is reaching, you know, to this clean fill so the dough is ready to go i'm gonna go ahead and let it get to room temp i'm gonna make some pizzas in the meantime you could take a look at the card up above to see the pizzas that i have made with this dough as well as checking out my instagram at the pizza guy john for all the other pizzas again that i've made using the tony gemiani if you liked what you see like and subscribe comment down below turn on that bell notification be notified when i make new videos again check out my instagram at the pizza guy john and look forward to chatting with you